Mom. What? You going to sponsor my race car? That's why I'd like to know exactly no. what this uh, <laughs> Well, I don't know what this is. Oh, that's a good one. Hello, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining in for uh, another episode of Wannabe Racer. Uh, today, today's topic is going to be about uh, full throttle shift with your Honda and how we're going to set it up both physically on the car and the settings that we have to do in our S Manager software. Um, the first part of this video, I'm going to go over what you physically have to do, the switch you have to install in your vehicle and how you need to run it to the ECU. And then the second part of the video, we're going to do the settings that you have to do in the actual S Manager. So without further ado, let's get over uh, talking about the switches that we're going to do. So most Hondas, uh, manual Hondas, have these two switches in them from the factory. Um, mine's a Honda Prelude. Uh, both of these were came with a vehicle. Uh, this larger one here on the right is for uh, shutting off the cruise control. When you push the clutch in, um, it essentially tells the ECU to cut the cruise control off. Um, and the one on the left is basically your safety switch for the clutch. When you go to start your car up, uh, basically, if you don't have your clutch pressed, pressed in all the way, um, it won't fire. Uh, this basically just sends a signal, completes the circuit to do that. And they're both already mounted. Um, they're great switches. They seem to last forever. Um, so why not use what we already have? Um, this is what I've done. This is what a lot of people do. It works well for us. I mean, you can hook up a like a micro switch or or even buy a second one of these and, and build um, another uh, fabricate a way to put it on. Uh, I just think that's getting way too complicated. So let's get into how and which switch would might be best for you. Uh, originally. I had tried to use the the large larger switch for the cruise control. Um, the only issue that I had found is it starts to work at the beginning of the row of the clutch. So basically, the as you just start to press the clutch in, literally within the first inch, it engages, and that's where that uh, switch. Would, would activate. Um, I found this to be incredibly too sensitive. Um, even with uh, the adjustment, because you have up to on the clutch itself, not this with the GM nut, but on the actual clutch itself with the adjustment that's there, you probably can adjust it up to an inch and a half or maybe an inch total. Um, in the clutch throw itself but this still I mean you can you can bump the clutch some people ride with their foot on the clutch I mean you're not supposed to but they do and it, you don't want it cutting in and out um, so I ended up switching back over to the safety switch and I'll let you see. Um, so I ended up switching over to the safety switch and once I did that it worked beautifully um, and yet again you still have the adjustment so it engages about about two inches from the floor is when the when the switch kicks on. So how did I do this? Well, basically all I had to do was literally take the clip out and depin it. So you have these pins that go inside here, and if you're not familiar with them, uh, they're a standard Honda pin. Um, Literally, it just slides inside, and you have to pick it out from the other, from in, down inside. Slide out. Uh, focus. There you go. And once you've 
had those D pinned, all you have to do is run two wires. So, yet again, it doesn't matter which side it is. There's no polarity with the switch. Um, but to keep things simple, there's going to be a black and a green wire. Usually. Like the same with this setup. There's a black and a green wire. So, green wire, power, black wire, ground. Um, all you have to do is run the black wire to a bolt, to, to ground, to chassis ground. And then the green wire, in my case, on my setup, I ran it to B8. So, B8, I believe, is the air conditioning switch. Um, you have to double check me on that. But, that's it. I mean, so you literally just one, run one new wire to the ECU. Uh, in my uh, case, I used B8. And then one to the chassis ground. And then your switch is set up for that. Uh, other than the settings that we're going to go over here in a minute. Now, the issue becomes is you're still left with the two wires that you pulled out that were originally part of the factory harness. So, there's a couple ways you can do this, but if you end up using this safety switch, the car will not start if you do not um, complete the circuit. I mean, if you just pull the clip out and rewire it and leave the old clip just there, the car will not fire. So, look, hear me again, the car will not start unless you do this so all you have to do is either go ahead and cut the wire and tie them both together so that you complete the circuit just like the switch would be on all the time and just literally you can solder it whatever you can twist it like this i don't recommend it but this is just for illustration and then go ahead and Put your heat shield over it and, and sh shrink wrap it in. Uh, you can solder it. You can do whatever. You can pull the two pins out and just heat shrink the two pins together. However you want to do this. However you see fit. Uh, if you're willing to cut it on your car, that's great. Um, I believe I heat shrink the two pins together on mine. So that is basically what all you would need to do to get this set up and then you have the adjustment on on the actual switch itself and you'll be able to figure out about how far in or how far back you need to set it for for what you like all right now that we've gone over that let's go ahead i'm going to get on my laptop and we'll complete the second part of this video